Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Spookathon day one. It is exactly 12 o'clock, which means it's the first day of Spookathon. I am really excited. I hope I get a lot of reading done. Um, just posted my TBR video, and I kind of talked about how I've been feeling kind of slumpy lately. I haven't really done a lot of filming. I haven't really done a lot of reading, um, just because I feel like I've been kind of in a slump and this month isn't going as planned, but um, I feel like readathons are always kind of the perfect push to get me out of a slump and I have some fun books that I want to read. If you haven't seen my TBR, I will really quickly show you guys what the challenges are and what I plan on reading and then um, probably going to go to bed because I have been reading for the last few hours, but I wanted to film like right away, right at midnight. Nail is done for Halloween, so it's been a fun weekend. Um, but I'm really excited for Spookathon, and let's go ahead and show you guys what I plan on reading. So, um, challenge one is to read a thriller. I'm gonna pick up What She Knew by Gillian McMillan. This is a domestic thriller about a um, mom whose son goes missing, and um, the police are called, a search party happens, and the family and friends start getting interviewed, and then the suspicion of ultimately leads to the mother. Um, I haven't read a lot of thrillers, so I'm really excited to find out a little bit more and read some. Um, this kind of gives me Gone Girl vibes, so we shall see what happens. And then uh, and and then challenge two is to read a book with red on the cover. I'm gonna pick up You by Caroline Kepnes. This has been featured on multiple DPRs and I still have not read it. Um, I'm really, really excited to. I think it's a pretty fast paced read and I think it won't take me very long to get through. So I'm really hoping to get to this this week as well. And challenge three is to read a book with a spooky word in the title. I'm gonna pick up These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling because um, burn is kind of a spooky word. Witches can also be a spooky word. Um, I just recently picked this up for October and um, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I also think that this is something that um, can get me out of my slump. It's also really short and the font is really big, so I don't think it'll take very long. I think this is the perfect, um, fun, cute, kind of fall contemporary to get me out of my slump. It takes place in Salem and involves a lesbian witch who has to basically <laughs> save the world with her ex-girlfriend, so I'm really excited to dive into this. And challenge four is to read a book with a spooky setting. I'm gonna pick up a couple stories in H.P. Lovecraft's Great Tales of Horror. There are two stories in particular that I'm gonna be picking up. One is The Rats in the Walls, and then the other one is um, In the Shadow in the Shadow of End's Mouth. Both of those kind of have spooky settings and um, they'll be really short because Rats in the Walls is only like a 20 something page short story. And then End's Mouth is like 40 or 50 pages. So. Um, I'm really excited to get to these as well. And challenge five is to read a book you wouldn't normally read. I'm going to pick up Charles Game by Stephen King because Stephen King is someone I don't normally read and I don't normally read a lot of horror. This is another one that's not super big. Um, it's only like 300 and something pages and the font's really big as well. And I think this will be another fast paced book as well. So I'm hoping to get to this this week. And then I do have an extra book and that's a book that I'm currently reading and that is Slayer. Um, I'm about 180 pages into this or so. This could fit into a couple challenges. It could fit into spooky setting. It could fit into spooky word because it's about Slayer, which is kind of spooky. Or you could even say um, vampire because it says from the world of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and vampire is a spooky word. Um, but depending on how the week goes, I think I'm gonna to try to pick this up and read it through the week. And then depending on what else I get done, I can apply this to a challenge that I haven't completed um, because this one I've already started. So I'm hoping to just continue reading this this week as well. So that's my TBR for Spookathon. Um, I think it's doable. It doesn't seem like it's too overwhelming. There are a lot of books, but I feel like a few of them are pretty short and pretty fast paced. So I think it'll be a really quick I think a lot of a couple of them will be pretty quick reads, um, but I just wanted to pop in and say good morning, happy Monday, happy Spookathon day one. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. I am going to go to sleep because I do have to work tomorrow um, and I want to get a full night's sleep so that I can be up throughout, uh, so that I can be up late Monday night to go ahead and get some reading done. So I hope everyone is doing well 
and I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is 7.30, so I'm getting a later start than I wanted to, um, but I wanted to pop in and let you guys know I am going to go ahead and start the readathon with These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling. This is the shortest book on my TBR other than the short stories, and um, I think it'll be a really fast-paced read. I um, am not doing anything tonight, and my boyfriend has plans, so I'm going to be home by myself. So I think I'm going to try to read this entire book today. We shall see how it happens. It might be a tall order. It might be accomplishable. We'll see. Um, but I hope everyone is having, you know, hope everyone has a great Monday. Um, I will check in with you guys a little bit later. I just wanted to pop in and say good morning and show you guys what I'm going to be reading. And I will really quickly show you my Halloween setup because I think it's really cute and I think it's perfect for the readathon. So I will show you guys that. And then I got to go get dressed and get ready for work. But I hope everyone has a good day and I will see you guys later. Bye. So here's my table. Ignore the mail here, but um, we've got this cute little tablecloth my mom got, gave to me. It used to be hers, but she doesn't use it anymore, so she gave it to me. And then I've got these cute little pumpkins and then this cute little box, which is empty, but I think it's just really cute. And, um, and then we've got these little like ghost things. I don't know. I got them at a Walgreens, like many many years ago and I just think they're really cute and then our pumpkin which we still need to carve which we got um which we got at the orchard and pumpkin patch and then we've got uh, this cute little clear thing it's a table cover so it's normally supposed to go like over your table but we thought it'd be kind of cute there so we put it there it's got spider webs and it's see-through um and then over here we've got these little stands it says boo and it says spooky and that's it that's the entirety of my halloween costume and my halloween decorations this year um also pretty excited because i found a keurig for like ten dollars at a liquidation estate sale um and it works and so i'm really excited about that and then you guys haven't seen my coffee setup yet um but I have a coffee maker and then I have a Keurig. This is for tea, whole thing of sugar. And then down here we have all of our like tea and coffee and hot chocolate. And then this is still kind of a mess, but um, we put all of our coffee mugs. We still have the section to go through. We still have like our D&D &D stuff there, but um, I've got like my K-cups, I've got French vanilla creamers, and then I've got like a cold brew thing back there and then all of our coffee mugs. So I am really excited with my coffee set up. Um, I think it's going to be really cute around the holidays to be able to just brew coffee a lot easier and it gives us counter space again. So um, I'm really excited and really happy with this. Hey everyone, so it is about 5.15. Um, I've just gone off work and I'm heading to CVS because I can pick up a couple things. Um, but I really quickly wanted to pop in and let you guys know um, I didn't do any reading on my lunch. Not really a surprise. Um, my lunch is only a half hour, so it goes by pretty quick. And um, I had some other things I had to do. So I haven't got any reading done yet, but I do think I can get a lot done tonight. Um, but, uh, but I do think I can get a lot done tonight. So I just wanted to pop in and let you guys kind of know the update. Um, and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. from CVS. I ended up picking up a couple things. Um, 
we were out of dish soap and I needed like excedrin and deodorant. And then I ended up finding a couple things for lunch. Um, I don't tend to eat a lot of like TV dinner type meals, but this one actually looks really good. And it seems it's like it's on the healthier side. It's butternut squash and sage ravioli. I've never tried this brand. Um, and this looks really good. It's vegetarian and um, it only has 310 calories and 44 grams of carbohydrates. So, I mean, it's not super healthy, but um, I'm excited to give it a try. And so I picked that up, picked that up, and then I got a couple other things. Um, I'm gonna make like, a tuna salad sandwich for lunch one day. Um, and then I found my unhealthy, um, for my unhealthy treat, I found, this is really cool, it's M&M's Milk Chocolate Bar with Minis. I've never seen these before. Um, they're in like little chunks and you get four of them so I don't have to eat all of them at once. Um, they were buy one, get one half off. So I got milk chocolate and then I got the crunchy, and then I got the crispy mint. Um, I thought this was kind of cool and I'm really excited to try it because um, I can just like eat the sections of it and I don't feel super guilty. Um, if you've ever heard of these or if you've tried them, let me know because I'm really curious and this is the first time I'm seeing them. Um, but you guys don't care. This is a reading vlog. This is a vlog for Spookathon, not my CVS grocery, grocery haul. Um, but I do have some things to do around the house. I need to fluff up my laundry and then obviously do dishes because we're out of dish soap, so I haven't done them yet. Um, and then my boyfriend will be home around eight, so we're gonna have a late dinner, which means that I hopefully can at least get a good like hour, hour and a half of reading time in. I don't know what I'm gonna read yet. I initially was gonna start, um, these witches don't burn, but I'm kind of feeling like I might just continue on with Slayer because I'm almost done with that. I have like probably like three and a half hours left. So I might put on the audiobook for that for a little bit while I do the dishes and the laundry. Um, I hope everyone is well and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hi buddy. Hi, what are you doing? Well, are you all nice and full? Did you have a good dinner? Did you have dinner? Okay, so it's about 6.45. Um, I took care of the dishes. I'm fluffing up the clothes. I fed Roy um, and picked up some things around the house and straightened a couple things up. I am getting ready to settle in. I'm going to read for about an hour or so. I'm going to pick up Slayer um, because I am a little less than halfway through and I think I can make good progress in this in the next um, I think I can make good progress in this in the next hour, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and read that and I will check in with you guys a little bit. Hey guys, so it is about 7.30. Um, I'm getting ready to go ahead and start making dinner, but I really quickly wanted to pop in and let you guys know um, that I sat down and I read about 25 pages in Slayer. Um, I am liking this book enough. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely got like I think it's trying to cater to like the nostalgia factor of Buffy the Vampire Slayer um but I don't know I think it's still a little early to tell what I'm thinking about it but I am exactly halfway through and I think I can get another couple I think I can definitely get a couple hours read in this tonight but I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner and I will check in with you guys a little bit later bye okay so let's go ahead and see what is on the menu for tonight um, my boyfriend and I have been doing Hello Fresh for the last couple weeks and it's been working out really well. I'm really liking it. We've had some um, fun meals that we wouldn't have normally tried and normally have eaten. So tonight it looks like it is lemon salmon with couscous, Italian herbs, and zucchini ribbon salad. Um, this actually looks really good. I'm really excited to try this and I just love how everything. This is not sponsored. Um, this is not sponsored by HelloFresh at all, but I am actually a really big fan. I think it's going really well. They just literally give you everything that you need for that meal for two servings. Um, you usually only have to add like butter or oil or water, things that is normally already in a kitchen, but they give you everything that you need and it's really easy. I'm not a huge like cook. Um, I mean, I 
can cook, but I'm not like really creative and like making my own meals and things like that. And this has been really easy to follow. The directions are very straightforward. Um, and I like that they give you like what the actual serving sizes are and stuff. So like if we wanted to make it again, um, we could get the own ingredients ourselves and then still follow the same recipe with the ingredients. Um, so yeah, I've, we've been really enjoying it. I'm really excited to try this. We don't eat a lot of fish. We should, we like fish. We just, it's kind of intimidating cooking it. So I'm really excited to try this tonight and it looks really good. So um, this is everything that the meal will come with and it's perfectly already pre-portioned and like pre-packaged for that meal. So you don't, you're not like wasting anything either. Um, and it gives you how long it takes. So the prep is five minutes. It takes 20 minutes and it's 730 calories, which um, is probably the highest one that we've had so far, which makes sense because it's lemon and it's fish. Um, and there's like sour cream and stuff in it, but I'm really excited. So, so everything comes like in its packaged, what you need for the recipe. So this recipe, we need two zucchinis one tomato, one lemon, scallions, and then it's already pre-measured sour cream, um, couscous, and then pre-measured chicken stock concentrate, and then already pre-measured Italian seasoning. So um, it literally comes with everything pre-packaged and you're not wasting any food and you don't have to overbuy. So I'm really excited to go ahead and make this tonight and I will check in with you guys and let you guys know how it goes. successful as was wanting um but it didn't took longer than anticipated it was all right um wasn't our favorite meal and then we ended up watching three episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine um but I am making slow progress I do think I can hopefully get it done tomorrow um and uh tomorrow's also the gym so I'll probably pop in an audiobook for something um but I hope everyone had a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.